Man, is this the 1700s or 2022? This is wild. Don't it seem like yeah, man, I'm gonna have the uh, the article up on the screen while I'm talking. Um, I'm gonna shut this little little video, try to shut this little video advertisement down. Uh, but yeah, so basically, um, this story is uh, <laughs> what in the world is going on in two in the year of our Lord? 2022. Yeah, some students at a North Carolina high school had a mock slave auction. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. A mock slave auction. Walter School in Goldston near Raleigh. Where white classmates were auctioned off their fellow black students. What in the world is going on here? You know, and this just goes to show you for all those people that says racism is dead. Uh, black people are on equal footing. Uh, this is over. Racism is over. Yada, yada, yada. Cut it with the BS. Cut it with the crap. We don't believe you. This story, this story shows you the wildness that is happening in this world. This is absolutely insane. And I'm not going to read you the story. I'm going to kind of scroll down. Uh, I'll leave a link to the story in the description so you can kind of like read it yourself. But um, yeah, I'm just going to just scroll up and down the story, kind of pick out the points that I need to, to touch on real quick just to give the background. But yeah. So uh, yeah, one of the parents found out about this and was <laughs> and was on their bumper, which she should have been. Uh, shouts out to her. For being on Nate Bumper about this. Um, yeah, apparently uh, her son told her, hey, one of my friends went for 350 and another student was a slave master because he knew how to handle them, a.k.a. the black students. He knew how to handle them. Let me just let me just get all these points out before I unleash because this is this story. The more I read it and the more I talk about it, the wilder it gets. <laughs> she she says there's even a video. His mother says there's even a video that's out there. And I promise y'all, if I get this video, woo, there's even a video out there where the students are harmonizing the N word, learned behavior. And apparently, the consequence for the act, for this act, was a one-day suspension for all the students who were involved. A one-day suspension. Uh, the school superintendent, Anthony Jackson, apologized for the incident and ordered immediate action to prevent similar activities from happening again. Then they apologize, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why my page is going down. Blah, 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 blah. They apologize. They talk about, you know, the outcomes of this act. And, you know, we never want this to happen in our school district again. Now it's time for me to unleash. There's zero accountability here. These students only got a one-day suspension for this. Are we serious? They need at least a 10-day. Come on, bro. We need a chance to wrap her in here. They need a 10-day for sure. Uh, second of all, um, this is learned behavior. They had to get this from somewhere, whether it's their parents, their uncles, their aunties, whoever. Um, they had to get this from somewhere. They, it just didn't come up on its own. Uh, th this is this is wild. And the and the staff who helped create this culture and and the uh, the teachers they need to be held accountable too. I, I, if ye get them out of here, man. Anybody who allowed this to happen or created the culture for this to happen, they got to go. They got to go. You got to go. Sorry. You can't be influencing kids like this. And parents, if you're teaching your children to be actively racist, this is on you. You are the problem. Or whoever is around your kid that you're allowing them to teach them to be act actively racist, you are the problem. See, look. This, this, again, this goes to show you for the people that's out there saying racism is dead. You are dead wrong dead wrong the fact that th that this is uh <laughs> the, the the fact that they're saying this is only warrants a one day suspension is saying a lot to me that says a lot that doesn't that say a lot to you 
This is blatant, like blatant racism. It's not even, not even uh, hidden. It's blatant. Um, this is, this is, this is crazy, man. And the fact that there's a lack of accountability is insane. And that's the lesson that we can learn. One of the lessons that we can learn from this. I'll talk about the secondary lesson that we can learn. Uh, one of the lessons that we can learn from this is have accountability. Hold yourselves and others around you accountable. Uh, one day suspension is not the proper level of accountability for this. Um, I haven't heard anything that the teachers or the students who, the teachers or the uh, the staff who allowed this to happen, that they're being held accountable, but they need to be held accountable. The school district is saying, well, we're going to do training to make sure this never happens again, which they should. I 100% am on board with that. But I don't think they've properly addressed the situation. And that's a part of the problem. That's a huge part of the problem is they didn't they didn't properly address this. It, it almost gives me a feel of sweeping it underneath the rug. And I have a huge, huge, huge issue with that. Huge problem with it. And uh, yeah, so um, for the parents of these children, you should be ashamed of your children. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Uh, the black kids, you I, the black students in this. Why are you even allowing yourselves to be auctioned off? Like, what? Let's talk about that, too. Stand up for yourselves. Don't let... No, 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 no. I wish one of my high school classmates would have tried to come and ask me this. <laughs> what? <laughs> craziness. Absolute craziness. Uh, you're not honoring history by doing this. And, and I'm not one of those people that, like, race is, like super important to me or I see race and everything but this is blatantly a race issue this is something that needs to be dealt with and nipped in the bud um this should not happen again in the year of our lord 2022 um yeah these people this is madness madness and everybody around the situation needs to be held accountable be accountable for your actions for what you do be accountable be accountable. And it looks like they're trying to do some accountability, but the appropriate level of accountability, a one day suspension, is that appropriate? Just tell me in the comment section if I'm wrong, if you think them having only one day suspension was an appropriate thing. It's not, not to me. Uh, so yeah, man, what we can learn from this is we need to be accountable for ourselves um, and for what we do and parents. And this is what I say, and I'm out of here. You need to be accountable for what you teach your children or what other people teach your children. It's your job to guide your child. And if your child thinks that it's okay to go to school and hold a mock slave auction selling off their black classmates, um, you're teaching them wrong. I'm fairly confident to say that you are teaching them wrong. Uh, this, is, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Uh, this mom had a right to be mad. Every other black student's parents have a right to be upset. Uh, the school district needs to do more than just a one day suspension. Uh, they should look into initiatives, but there needs to be more accountability here. And I don't think there is, but I'm going to keep you all updated on this story. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. This is wild, wild, man. Absolutely wild. Um, so just get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, Un this is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back when I'm ready to run my mouth some more.